Hey, everybody, this here's the flag of the biggest country in the world. I say the world. Uh, click. Right, Flag Waver. Russia covers over half of Europe and two-fifths of Asia. I know a song about a man who worked on Russia's biggest river, but he must have had very bad manners. Bad manners? Yep, because they called him the Volga Boatman. Hey, you get it? This is my beautiful city, Moscow. My name is Mikhail, but everyone calls me Misha. Today, I take the subway from my home to take pictures to enter in a Pioneer Palace photo competition. Our palace against the other 34 in Moscow. In Russia, there are places where young people go to learn dance, painting, photography, chess, almost anything you can name. We call them Pioneer Palaces, and there are 35 in Moscow alone. The interesting thing about photographing buildings is the way the light changes. Here in the city, there are so many good subjects everywhere. But to me, people are always the most interesting subjects. Someday, I want to be a photojournalist. I believe you call it press photographer. Press photographers always get to go where the action is. It's exciting. As I walk back to the photo laboratory, I happen to look into the game room. I notice the chess players as they concentrate on their game. And there is something special in the look of concentration on their faces. Perhaps I can capture the mood and feeling in the photograph. I believe that will be my best picture today. Perhaps my best ever. I rush to the laboratory and unload the camera and start to develop the film. This is the most important step in making a photograph. I put the film into a light proof tank with developer and wait exactly four minutes. Then I pour off the developing fluid and rinse the film in clean water. Now, the film is safe against light, so I inspect the negatives. They look good, so I will make big prints from them with an enlarger. An enlarger is like a camera in reverse. Light shines through the transparent negative and onto special photo paper. After the paper is exposed, I put it into a tray with a special chemical. This causes the image to slowly appear, as if by magic, on the paper. All this must be done under special light, or the print will be ruined. But once the image appears, I stop the developer with other chemicals, rinse the print in water, and there is one of my photographs. And now we are waiting to hear the judge's decision. Our teacher tells us that our group has won second prize. I am called up to accept my award. I can't help thinking at a moment like this, how nice it would be if someone took my picture.